a mirror that scans your body could be the fitness tracker of the future. A young mountaineer climbs for a cause, and we count down the top five trending stories of the week. This is BizWire TV, where your news is made. I'm Erin Aid, and top of the wire this week. Fitness trackers dominate the wearables market and motivate you to move. But a new tracker from a San Francisco startup wants you to just kind of stand there. Naked Labs has launched the Naked 3D Fitness Tracker. It's a full-length body scanning mirror and turntable that's a scale. Step on it and it rotates 360 degrees while the mirror scans your body using infrared sensors. A 3D body model is produced using Intel's RealSense technology. All the data is sent to an app where you can see your body's changes. The company says the system tracks measurements, body fat percentage, and weight. And don't worry, you don't have to be naked to use it. Naked Labs says the system is available for pre-orders and it's $500. The startup is backed by Three Leaf Ventures, an affiliate of Bro Group. The latest move in Coca-Cola's one brand marketing strategy leads off this week's Quick Biz Hits. The company announced the launch of new graphics using the color Coca-Cola Red to tie all of its products together. Coke says the new packaging will feature its iconic red disc. The new look rolls out in Mexico next month and other markets around the world will follow. And Coca-Cola brand Powerade is bringing back its Just a Kid campaign for the Summer Olympics. If the boxing gym is no place for a girl, then what does a girl's place look like? The sports drink spotlights athletes from humble beginnings like women's boxing Olympic hopeful Clarissa Shields. It was a big debut, and I mean big, at Bristol Motor Speedway in Tennessee. The sports facility debuted what it says is the largest center hung screen in the world. The structure is 700 tons, has four massive high-res screens, and a half a million watt, 485 speaker sound system. I mean, that's pretty big, so it's no wonder they call it Colossus TV. Now let's count down the top trending business wire stories of the week according to our new V social media monitor. H&M makes it in for a second week in a row. They're just holding their spot. Now the fast fashion retailer, they came in at number five this week as it shared videos and pictures from Coachella. H&M is an official sponsor of the Music and Arts Festival and has created an H&M Loves Coachella fashion line starring model Haley Baldwin. Estee Lauder lands at the number four spot. The company revealed it's teaming up with Victoria Beckham for a makeup line. The former Spice Girl helped move the news on social media and a limited edition collection will launch in September. Number three is a move by Viber. The messaging app announced it's adding complete end-to-end -end encryption across all devices. Viber says it has more than 700 million users worldwide. Apple unveiled updated MacBooks and the story hit the newbie number two spot, reaching more than 86 million people. The company says it's added the latest processor, better graphics, and an additional hour of battery life, plus a new rose gold finish. And the most shared business wire story of the week is... Dun, 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 a seismic shift at a top fashion house. Calvin Klein's announcement of a new global creative strategy reached more than 98 million people. It says the move is designed to unify all Calvin Klein brands under one creative vision. Longtime creative directors Francisco Costa and Italo Zucchelli, they're out, and the fashion brand says a new visionary would be named in due course. Finally, two journeys, and the first one has made history. Now, we told you last month about Martin Frey. He's a former Silicon Valley executive who was sailing with the team Visit Seattle in the Clip Around the World Yacht Race. The 6,000-mile race across the Pacific was the last leg of his quest to be the first person to climb the seven summits and sail the seven seas. Frey reached his goal on Sunday as Visit Seattle crossed the finish line. And another adventurer is getting an early start on the seven summits. Meet Tyler Armstrong. He's 12 years old, and he has had his sights set on climbing the world's highest peaks. It's all in a quest to raise money to find a cure for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Tyler climbed Mount Kilimanjaro when he was just eight. He then conquered Argentina's highest peak at nine. Then it was Mount Elbrus in Russia last summer. Now he's training for his fourth summit and working with the nonprofit organization Cure Duchesne to raise money and awareness for the degenerative disease. Good luck to you, Tyler. Check out our new BizWireTV.com site to catch BizWire TV every Friday. And of course, the Accelerator Report, that's every Sunday. And find all of your top news at any time on BusinessWire.com.